ABC4 News celebrates 75 years. Welcome to ABC4 News at 10 on this Friday night. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. We thank you for joining us here tonight. Life in prison without parole, that is what a judge has decided for the parents of Angelina Castillo, who died after her parents slowly tortured the three-year-old. Now, the judge calling the couple monsters. ABC4's Courtney Johns joining us with more on why the judge says life in prison is a merciful sentence. Courtney. Well, Emily, the judge says what happened to Angelina can't be characterized as wrong or bad, saying the only word that does it justice is evil. This court has felt the tremendous weight of this case and has fought back tears of its own when it has reviewed and considered the atrocious evidence in this case. A case so upsetting. Evidence of concealment of injuries with makeup. It's left its mark on everyone. She left law enforcement after this case and still suffers mental and emotional trauma from her involvement in this case and the memories of its events. The judge spending nearly two minutes. Round scars consistent with cigarette burns. Listing all the injuries reported on Angelina's autopsy. Her injuries were too numerous to count. Her life was a life of perpetual pain. Pleading guilty to murder. Traumatic chipping of teeth. Brenda Emil and Miller Costello tortured their toddler. Video showing her parents taunting her with food and ultimately withholding it from her as she slowly starved to death were appalling and heart-wrenching to watch. Investigators say the couple forced their other children to participate. Told him not to tell the police the truth or it would happen to him. The judge saying the tragedy lies in the fact that the people who truly mourn Angelina the most are strangers. Skin atrophy and muscle wasting. Who only got to know her after she died. When protectors become tormentors, when nurturers become abusers, it's nearly impossible to grasp, much less explain. It has been said that evil imaginations have no limits, and this case bears out that principle. The judge says the most upsetting part of this case is the lack of regret he has seen from either parent. Back to you. Thank you, Kurt, uh, Courtney.